Dr. Jason Johnson nailed it. He nailed an important fact. Not only that Donald Trump is a paper tiger, but that Donald Trump only has power because those in power seem to acquiesce to the power he doesn't have, meaning the Republicans that continue to acquiesce to his every whim, the Republicans that continue to do his dirty work, the Republicans that continue to believe that somehow this guy has some power that can control them. Johnson points out a reality that very few want to acknowledge on the other side. Donald Trump has never, ever won an election in this country. Yes, he won the Electoral College, but when he won the Electoral College, he lost the popular vote by three, three million votes. And subsequently, he's only lost by more. So he is actually going in the wrong direction. So why fear? Listen to what Jason Johnson had to say, and then we'll take it on the other side. I want to talk about that in the context of the president delivering this speech Saturday at Valley Forge. Uh, after that, on Monday, he's going to be speaking at Char in Charleston at the Emanuel AME Church, where, of course, a white supremacist killed nine people back in 2015. The campaign says that the point is to signify his fight against political violence, uh, against white supremacy. Is there a way for him to get out in front of the argument that Donald Trump is going to make, right? If, if he presupposes that Donald Trump is going to weaponize this concept of democracy, is there a way to beat him to it? Yes, Alicia, the, the way you beat him to it is to have a completely different conversation. You completely change the conversation. Here's the thing. Donald Trump isn't persuading anybody anymore. I keep reminding people of this. He lost by like three million against Hillary Clinton, lost by seven million against Joe Biden. It's not like the guy is that popular. He's not. He's never won the popular vote. Lots of people can't stand him. The only reason that he appears to be powerful is because people in positions of empower, uh, people in positions of empower let him talk and let him drive the narrative. If I'm Joe Biden, I'm the president. I won this. I beat you. I'll beat you again. Let me talk about all the great things I've done. I wouldn't worry about getting ahead of whatever lie Donald Trump comes up with next. I would want to get ahead of what are the ever narratives are that exist within the people, people who are upset, people who say Joe Biden's too old, people who say he hasn't done enough. Get ahead of those concerns, because if Joe Biden satisfies those people, Donald Trump will continue talking to the same little coffee class that he's always talked to, and he'll lose again because it's not that many people. But Joe Biden has to galvanize the people who have already benefited from his presidency. And if you can't do that, then, yeah, Trump's going to be in office and we're all going to be in trouble. So it is clear. The reality is that the, in the best interest of Democrats going forward, that you stop treating Donald Trump as someone to fear and treat him as someone that must be challenged. You don't treat him as someone to fear, but someone that you can beat because you have consistently beat him. That it's not someone to fear, but he is someone that is nothing more than a facade of something he would like to be, but can never be because he neither has the intellect or the strength of character to be. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.